So to begin this look, I'm going to apply this under eye corrector to everywhere on my face that has dark spots and I'm going to blend this in with my finger. This will just help to um, color correct these certain areas instead of applying concealer on there where I'm going to use probably double the product just to get the same amount if not less coverage. After that, I'm going to use the foundation that matches my skin tone and apply this everywhere on my skin. Now with the fat part of the Beauty Blender, I'm going to use this to um, blend in all of those areas on my skin and blend in this product onto the skin. So I'm going to do a little more, a little bit of highlighting and contouring in this look to blend it out. I'm going to use this one tool to blend out both the highlight and the contour. So I use the fat part of the Beauty Blender to blend out the darker products and the skinny or pointy part of the Beauty Blender is used and designated to blend out all of the highlighted areas on the face. light highlighting concealer that's about three to four shades lighter than my skin tone and apply this along the side of my nose and also underneath my eye. I like to use this because it just gives a bit of a brightening effect to underneath my eye and the center of my face. Now I'm going to use the pointy part of the Beauty Blender to blend out underneath the eye. I like to use this part of the Beauty Blender because it's going to get into um, the kind of corners of the inner portion of the eye and around the nose um, very easily. Now I'm going to use a concealer that's about three to four shades darker than my skin tone in order to contour a little bit around my forehead and my cheekbones. the fat part of the Beauty Blender in order to blend out the contour. And I'm going to designate this area only to blending out the contour or the darker products on the skin. And this is how I'm going to blend out the darker products with the lighter products on my skin. Once I finish blending out the contour product with the fat part of the Beauty Blender, I am now going to flip the sponge over and blend that lighter highlight color onto the line of that contour product. And this is going to begin to blend those two um, dramatic colors together. Then I'm going to flip my sponge and blend with the contour product and blend that on top of the highlight and keep doing this over and over again until that line that um, create separation between those dramatically light and dark products are blurred and you don't know where one begins and the other one ends. After 
those products are blended out, I'm now going to set the highlighted area with a translucent powder that has a yellow undertone. Some people might set their foundation with um, a clear or white translucent powder or an orange based under, um, translucent powder. It all depends on your skin tone. I'm also going to place a little powder on my eyelids to help prep my eye for the eyeshadow. This way the, the eyeshadow um, products will not crease on my eyelid. Then on my nose and cheeks I'm going to also apply this darker translucent powder. Um, and I do that because I get oily faster in the nose and cheek area. Now I'm going to brush my hairs in the direction that they go to begin my brows. And with the brow brush I'm going to apply an eyeshadow color, a matte brown eyeshadow color that is a little lighter than the actual hair color and apply that into my brow. This way it will make my brows appear, they're fuller in hair but they're not darker. If I use a eyeshadow color that is the same color as my brows it's going to make my eyebrows appear darker and thicker and that's not what I want. I want my eyebrows to just appear fuller. And now for the outside of my brow I'm going to choose a different product and I'm going to use an angle brush in order to apply the product along the tail of my brow and I do this because it helps to sharpen the tail of my brow but it also blends seamlessly with the head of my brow and the color that I applied in there earlier. With a concealer brush I'm going to outline the outer two-thirds of the brow and then blend that color down towards my eyelid. This will help to um, sharpen underneath my brow, but also create more of a highlighted color on the lid so I don't have to put an additional highlighted or eyeshadow color there to make this part of my eye appear um, lifted or more defined. Once I blend the color down onto my eye, I'm gonna use my finger to press on it um, repeatedly in order to blend it out completely. Now with a brown, dark brown matte eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this color all over the eyelid. I'm not going to be very neat with this, I'm just going to make sure that I apply it all over the lower eyelid and into the socket of the eye. Now after I've applied the eyeshadow, I'm going to now apply a powder that matches my skin tone all over the face using the fat part of the Beauty Blender. To define my eyes a little bit more, I'm going to apply this dark brown eyeliner along the bottom eyelid. And then to soften that look, I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush that has nothing on it and blend that out. Then I'm going to go back to that eyeliner and apply it in my waterline. Blending the eyeshadow out a little bit more, I'm using a dome shaped brush with nothing on it and going over the line at the top of the eyeshadow vigorously just to blend it out. Now I'm going to use a bronzer everywhere I applied that contour color earlier in order to warm up the skin. Now to 
to ensure that this makeup is mask friendly, I'm going to apply a liquid lipstick all over the lips and then blend it in by piercing my lips together. Followed by a little bit of lip liner on top of that to add a little definition. look you guys see you in the next video and happy new year